so I made a video <clears throat> hi guys um, I made a video a few days ago about a mom or a mom kissing her child on her on, on his lips and her subscribers were very upset calling her name saying that's disgusting so here's the mom's response according to her video she's saying that she had enough me honestly i didn't find anything wrong with it it's her child i mean you can see that the child is having fun kissing his mom on the lips it's it's okay and not everything not everything is, is is sexual so i don't know maybe that person or those people who are making fun of it and making it a problem they probably never got even they probably never even got in they probably never got kissed by their parent before. Um, what is it? T Goddess 777. Tasha, what, what is her name? Tasha with the T or whatever her name is. I'm not a fighter. I know I'm supposed to be strong and like fighting you guys back and I tried it but I'm not a man. I'm not a fighter. I don't know you guys. I've never fought a day in my life. Mm. So sad to see the mom crying like this. I guess T Goddess and the other lady they are commentators or review channels. I've seen um, the information that they placed out and if you look at their their stuff is pretty harsh they're very harsh any little thing that she does with her family it's a problem i don't know why um well her name it's queen of kings that's the name of the channel but her name is rose i don't know why she watches those um those type of contents um they're really harsh on her they called her husband a pedo um they say that she's not a good mom they, I think someone called CPS on her the other day. It's just horrible. I am asking you guys to please stop. I am begging you to please stop. <laughs> oh, my heart hurts so bad. Literally, like, going in finding my number, calling me this level of harassment, why? I'm sorry, I have a husband, I'm sorry he treats me right, I promise. Oh my gosh, um, it breaks my heart to see her crying like that, I guess they called her number, like, who does that? I was never doing it to throw it in you guys' face. I promise to God that's not the reason. I promise the reason that I made this channel was to show women that we're in situations that I once was. That there's better for us. That we, we're still deserving of a man that treats us right. That was my whole goal with this channel. And to take care of my family and take them places that, you know, they never, that many little black boys don't get to experience. <clears throat> and to like beat the odds, <laughs> even though, you know, we were supposed to fail. We were one of so she's saying that she created her channel to show, um, you know, that you can meet someone out there that treats you the way that you want to be treated. I guess whether if he is your race or he is um, another race. In her case, he is um, a Caucasian male and he treats her very well. According to this comment here, it sounds like she thinks that people are jealous of her because she's with the Caucasian or with a man that treats her right. But um, most of the time, the prob most of the times when I see the, the commenters or the subscribers commenting, they're commenting on their parent. They're, they're nitpicking a little stuff like, oh, the kids should be doing this, your husband shouldn't be doing this and that. It's just childish.
100% supposed to fail. We were supposed to be in poverty. We were supposed to be down bad. We were supposed to be this. But we're not, you know, like, thank God. Thank God. That was my whole, my whole thing was to show women. <laughs> I've always been for women, for just showing women that there's better. So I know I'm supposed to be like rough and tough. I tried that. But I sit and cry every night in the shower because it's too much. Enough is enough. I don't really understand it. I don't understand how you can completely not know somebody. Listen, I'm bubbly and crazy by nature. That's who I am. Um. And Rose has been on this platform probably like a year, a year and a half, and she made it to I think a million subscribers the other day, and now she's getting a lot of um, negative commentators comments about her, commentators or or commenting and um, saying things about her, and I, and I think it's just too much for her her mental. One thing I have to say, as you become a big YouTuber, I think maybe she needs to speak to someone on her level that has a lot of subscribers so she can see that she's not the only one that's going through this. And some of the stuff they just, um, they're analyzing and they're analyzing wrong, you know, some of them. Or they may add things on. Or interpret things incorrectly however you want to say it but my heart goes out to Rose I feel so bad that's genuinely who I am and with my with this platform on my shorts especially I like to make you guys laugh I like to entertain you guys so that's what I do I can say about her shorts I did I always see her videos um, I always saw her videos on the shorts part but i never came to her um never watched her long form videos because i wasn't interested in her family life but now that i'm doing um commentating on her i'm i've been well i've watched more of her lives now not not the short forms i watch more of the lives so yes, I can say that her shorts, they're very, they're very entertaining. They make me laugh sometimes. She might say something and I might not agree with it, but I don't comment. I'm like, oh, about it. I just move past it, you know, because not because I don't do it. That doesn't mean that she can't or if you don't agree with something that I put, just press don't recommend channel and unsubscribe to me. If you feel that my kids are in danger, please just call. You can call CPS and you can call the police. I'm telling you, please do. Don't ever hesitate to call CPS and like the co the police when you feel that someone's kids are in danger. But well, maybe this is the reason why they call CPS on her because she's telling them to call CPS, so they want to challenge her. So yes, yeah, someone did call CPS on her, and as she noted before, they're calling her house. I mean, where do we draw the line? Where do we draw the line? This is like basically bullying. To make a whole fam a whole page just constantly bashing my family and making up complete lies, slander, and defamation. I don't understand, and I'm not here to talk about the other party, the baby father or whatever but these people are trying far harder than he's ever has in five years ever has okay i can assure you that any story that i ever told to you guys was 100 percent pure facts pure facts okay but for there to be comments like yeah we're trying to figure out what island she's on calling us calling like stalking, putting pictures of my home up. What? Why? What? Oh, wow, that's crazy. You're putting her family in danger, and you said that her kids are already in danger. Why are we doing this? This is so sickening. I can't believe. What was that 
bad, what was truly that bad that I could have said, a complete stranger could have said, like me, I just can't understand because I would just press unsubscribe. And if I wanted to call CPS or the police, I would do that. Okay, I'm going to take some time to read the comment section. So it's saying here, take take time off of social media. Girl, stop letting people get to you. This is your channel. You owe no one an explanation of your life. Stop watching her then, Rose. She's sick ASF. Oh. Okay. And another person said, Rose, sue the person for slander and libel and move on. Stop catching with haters. Another one says, I believe you and they are jealous. But like the slandering, the lies, the defamation. Please stop. What do you guys get out of me? I to get away from like so much just noise and just a calmer more peaceful serene life where I can just connect with nature connect with my family give my kids an amazing amazing childhood that's how I saw it when I decided to move here I'm gonna go find um Tea Goddess. I've seen her channel before. And the stuff that they say is, or she says, is horrendous. Let's see. Most likely. Okay, so I'm looking at this channel, um, and it says, these girls big mad, thank you. And in her comment section, we have people just complaining and saying in her latest video, she, um, I don't even want to say this, say that on this channel. Um, other people praising that other content creator. people commenting that um, they love her content It's just a lot of back and forth over there. I don't know you. That's the part of me. I don't know you. What could I possibly have done? That bad for you to be slandering me and my family. I kiss my kids. I love my kids. Me and my family were a very empathetic household. We show love. Genuinely. Genuinely. I definitely see that. I, I mean, if you look at my other videos i did say that she's showing love to her children i don't know if this girl t goddess or whatever she has children but i mean people do what they want with their kids as long as they're not abusing their children let her be let her be Love. 
We hug our kids. We kiss our kids. We feed our kids. Our kids are supposed to. Those are so things we're supposed to do. I was so hard to give my kids so much. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. 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 Breaking. Um, there's people in our comment section laughing. Um, my only comment to you, Rose, is you need to stop watching these these channels. I mean, nobody really watches channels that are negative about them. I've seen bigger YouTubers than you are, and they eventually don't even watch those channels. Just block them and block them from your channel as well. But of course, it can make other pages, right? Okay, someone else says here, don't pay attention to it. Just focus on your family and positive things. When you let them, when you let them in your mind, it takes over. Please don't pay attention to them. May God bless you and your family. And we have crying in emo. We have crying emojis in the comment section people. as well. It it hurts hurts people. People. I don't do anything, anything for people. people. Just stop! Just stop! Just stop! Just stop! Because it is driving me insane. Driving me with tech that I would need to have lost. Call CPS. We call CPS. If that's what you feel that you have to do. But why be so loud? Why get on a mic every single day talking about a complete stranger? We figured out who you are. We know your age, your date of birth, your name. We know everything. You're much older than I am. I'm just a woman and I'm trying to make it, trying to give my, my, my kids a mother that I didn't have. I'm trying to give my life the family, my kids the family that they deserve. A two-parent household. Breaking the odds. Breaking the curses. I'm trying to show them how to love a woman. How to put a family first. How to be there for you. So while um, I see that, was it Queen? She made a post the other day. She got a picture of the one of the content creators. I guess they don't show their face and their camera slipped. So she, she wrote, these people are going down. They are literally, they have literally, these people are going down. They have literally been threatening my subscribers and moderators. Her cam slipped and came on. Legally, these people can, can legally, these people are going down far too invested in a stream. We have made it to the end of this video. I hope you enjoy. And don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell, and comment down below.